ladies, amigos. Uh, we are at Luddenham today. This is the first day after the new motor slash old motor was lifting heads slash dyno day. So the car on the dyno looked like a completely different car. It was like a hundred something kilowatts through the mid-range of everywhere. Um, so today's the first day that we're hoping everything is sorted. Dean assures me that the water issue has been fixed. We're having massive water issues, um, which we think we have actually, um, holy fuck, is that Marty Carmods? I'm pretty sure Marty and Moog just rocked up. Oh fuck. Uh, anyway, so this is gonna be epic. Um, hopefully we actually get some good time in and actually get tuning the car. How you doing? Let me fix it. Hey, it's, uh, you just got to hit it. Yeah. It's mm. the Dean, Dean Wilder of it. See that technical? That's how you do it. It's technical. <laughs> in and we found we actually I just saw the accu sump holding up the oil pressure so obviously the oil pressure was dipping below like 40 psi um, which is normal at idle that's fine but we were getting like 40 35 psi at like five six seven thousand rpm uh, which is not good that will fully toast the motor so the accu sump certainly just saved the motor we checked the logs uh, the accu sump completely just held it up towards the end there uh, so we've just let it sit for a while started it again oil pressure is now fine what seems like healthy conditions it would be good to drop the oil and change the oil filter at this point uh, we're not sure whether we're gonna find oil we're at a racetrack and not a repco um, but we will see how we go it again it appears healthy but this is those things that you deal with hey look there's Marty from Marty Carmels Seriously, not once have we come and raced this car and it's just gone nicely. Every fucking time.
nailed it. Perfect. Did that come on? No, the oil fan's on oh, now. The fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just fucking beat the shit out of it yeah. for like 10 minutes. Yeah. That's as like... That's a dude, that run. is so fucking good, bro. That is... Finally. That was the first time everything just worked flawlessly. Coolant pressure went up with RPM, it was smick. Sorry, coolant pressure. Oil pressure went up with the RPM, it was smick. Coolant temps went up to like 79, 80, 81, 85. The fan kicked in. Fan brought it back down to 79. Dean was thrashing the shit out of it. Just managed it. It finally worked as the car should work. And we just found the limits of the tires. It was perfect. It was so, so good. So third session. Now, we're about to go back out there, hopefully, and see what it does. So this is honestly so good. What's that? Oh, just another set of tires. These ones were all skiddy and stuff. <laughs> Drift tires. <laughs> these ones don't look skiddy. Yeah, these are my PVC tires. Up there, do the job and make sure the tools go back in the night shift before the boys go to the night shift, which won't be for like five hours. So, always working. Oh, you'll fit it on your ute, no dramas. They feel better already, and they're not even scrubbed in. Hey, did you see in that last session the guy that just ran off the track? <laughs> did yeah, you I was mowing the lawn over back there. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's mowing. You need your lawn mode? Give me a call. Is that us? Yep. Uh, Alright, well that's good. He wasn't looking, but I turned the bush right down so he can't beat me now. Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking 3500 RPM rev limiter. <laughs>
Car survived, first track day, new tyres scrubbed in. Um, the only thing that we sort of had issues with was the oil pressure. Um, and I think we were originally thinking it, it was the valve in the STI pump. Um, it's a bit of a notorious thing of getting stuck. But what we found was we actually think it might be just surging. Um, around certain parts of the track, we would, the, the AccuSump would supplement oil and it was after three hairpins at like five, six out, five, six, seven thousand RPM. So the sump is probably like very low. There's a lot of G-forces going on in there, so it's all it's just struggling to pick it up. So anyway, we added about half a liter of water, uh, half a liter of oil um, in that first time when it happened and the problem went away completely. So that kind of alludes to maybe there's just not enough oil in there. So we topped it up and it went away. As the day went on, we pushed some oil into the catch can, as you do. Um, burnt some oil, yes, but the problem was fine and it just started just to get worse towards the end, but all good in the end. And we're laughing. We finally have a car we can start testing on. Dean's stoked too. Yeah, I'm stoked. Here he is, he's stoked. He I'm built, stoked, I get he, to drive it. Build a car that works. <laughs> Yeah. Years. Six goes, two gearboxes and three motors. <laughs> cool. <laughs> three house deposits. Yeah, I was going to say, don't even mention the money. <laughs> we're poor. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. LSs don't make it. That's it. That's where we're leaving it. Next time we play with the car, we will, I don't even know, but hopefully more testing. We have a hill climb coming up in Noosa, which is like a few hours north of where we are. It should be a good weekend. That's kind of what today was for, like testing for Noosa and making it Honestly, like making the car do what it does now. Turn the key, thrash the living fuck out of it, load it onto the trailer, see what happens. And it did that today perfectly. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew, you're too late for love. You're too late for love. You're too late for love.